Afghanistan has rarely seen so much money disappear so quickly. And it went into the hands of the tiniest number of most well-connected people. To the relief of many, this money changer included, the bank survived. For us, it was the first time we had a private bank. It came as a shock. But the government and the central bank stepped in, made things better. In fact, it was an international bailout. It meant these depositors held on to their savings. But for the first time, a detailed auditor's report exposes the extent of the fraud. Kabul Bank was a con from the start. Mr. Karzai, Mr. Karzai, the allegation... I spoke by telephone to President Karzai's brother, Mahmoud. He's accused of taking millions, but denies the charges. They have one iota of evidence that have taken a dollar or, or, take, or hidden the money. I am challenging anyone in the world to come up with that. You know, I will take full responsibility. President Karzai isn't implicated in the report. Here today he was asking for international investment in Afghanistan. Its findings won't help his cause.